This is Kanan Stark's story. We know how it ends, but we don't know how it started. Power Book 3 is going to take us back in time to the 1980s and 1990s. So I'm going to break down what we saw in the teaser for Power Book 3 raising Kanan along with a music video. So welcome back to MovieBot. Let's talk about Power Book 3 raising Kanan. So I hope you're all doing great this morning and I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this video so here it is. Power released a hell of a lot of information, teasers, clues and easter eggs literally in the space of a couple of days which I don't think many people have picked up on but I'm going to be dropping them over the next couple of days or so so make sure you watch out for them. So if you're not subscribed then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Universe related and Snowfall and a bit of Walking Dead starting next month as well. But let's get straight in with this Power Book 3 Raising Kanan teaser and music video and I'm going to talk about everything. Now we know how Kanan's shit ends. But we're about to find out how his shit started and that's what Kanan says at the beginning of this video and just off the feels and vibes that I get off this little teaser, the music video, the old school vibe, you know it's just gonna be the shit. Power Book 3 Raising Kanan I already know will be my favourite out of the Power Books because personally I just love old school shit because it's a time where crime, violence, drugs, money, war and gang wars on the streets were a lot higher than it is in today's day and age. This is what I think we'll get from Power Book 3 Raising Kanan with a different kind of power feel to it with it being set in the 90s. 1980s and the music video itself honestly it gave the get rich or die trying vibes and you have to really give 50 props we know he smashed this one out of the park the theme song was perfect for raising kanan it has that old school sort of vibe which gives you that representation of struggle it looks raw the 1980s vibe it will definitely be more grittier than power i wouldn't be surprised to see elements of 50s real life being incorporated into the young kanan as well and for those who haven't read 50 cents book hustle harder hustle smarter it's an absolute great read he gives insight into his past life and you do think we'll see some of what he's spoken about happen in raising kanan i wouldn't be surprised if we saw him get shot nine times or someone gets shot nine times most of y'all will know what i'm talking about but those who don't 50 cent got shot nine times back in 2004 his mom was also a hustler who sold drugs but died when he was eight years old and then he started selling at the age of 12 so i really wouldn't be surprised to see elements of his real life incorporated into the younger version of kanan and it really would give that show this added element of reality real life something from 50s past so for those who haven't read hustle harder hustle smarter it's such a great read and if you prefer the audiobook then i'm going to link it down below for you guys and have a listen to it especially maybe the first 20 minutes or so it'll give you a deeper understanding to his background and why his real life events can be reflected in power book 3 raising kanan so i'm going to link the audiobook down below for anyone who may want to listen to it but we saw elements of power book 3 raising kanan in the music video and it wasn't a trailer as such for raising kanan it was a few scenes not to give too much away but giving us characters to talk about we've obviously got kanan here played by makai curtis a lot of people in the comment section were saying you know 50 son would have been perfect to play the role of the younger version of kanan because they look so much alike and i agree he really would have been perfect considering how much they look alike and it would have given that added element of really feeling like it was a younger version of 50 if it was his son playing the younger version of kanan but hey it wasn't meant to be and regardless I think Makai Curtis will smash this role of Kanan as he looks on at Davina, Kanan's crush. We see the younger version of Jukebox who's played by Hayley Kilgore and Kanan jamming to music and this is the vibe we're going to start to get with uh, Power Book 3 raising Kanan with it set in the 1980s. There's no phones or anything like that, it's just old school headphones, music players and we know how much Jukebox was into music back in the day. It was mentioned in the original Power series that Jukebox wanted a career in music but we'll also see a scrapping and hustling at the same time and when push comes to shove it's going to be the hustling life that gets the better of her. We're also going to see her being real close to Kanan, she's Kanan's cousin and confident they keep each other's secrets and always have each other's backs kanan was the first person that she told about her sexuality kanan shared the same shit with her they were really close had a close relationship when they were kids and this is what i do believe we'll see in raising kanan but eventually jukebox moved to washington dc she became a member of the police and a member of the national black police association before moving back to queens and along the way something went wrong with her music career but i'm sure we'll find out as the show progresses in a couple of seasons time if it goes on for that long and what else do we know about jukebox we know that she digs chicks we also have annabelle zasowski she's going to be a recurring character in power book 3 raising kanan who i don't think we saw in the teasers but she's going to be playing nicole bingham a rich upper east state prep school student and according to deadline nicole catches jukebox's eye at choir competition sparking a romance that blossoms despite the girls 
wildly different backgrounds. We also get to see Jukebox's father Marvin who of course is Kanan's mom's brother and we see Kanan's mom Raquel Thomas who's played by Patina Miller and I'm going to come to Kanan's mom in just a moment because I want to talk about her in just a bit more detail but there were also rumours about Omar Epps playing Kanan's father but he looks like a cop, a detective of some sort in Power Book 3 raising Kanan but he still could be Kanan's father, we'll have to wait and find out. This is also Lulu, Kanan's uncle and Marvin and Raquel's brother. So that's Kanan's family from what we know so far. But what do we know about Kanan's mom and Kanan? What is their relationship going to be between these two because Kanan would have had to have picked up his ways of the streets and learning from someone. There was of course Breeze which we've heard about in the original Power series but he could have learned a lot of strategies from his mom Raquel as well because she's described as being this successful and deadly woman taking names in a man's world. But she's also capable of showing love and affection and I'm just going to read you her character description which of course I'm going to go through just before the show starts when we've got more information but her character description reads Rack. Thomas is a cold, hard and fierce, a successful and deadly woman, taking names in a man's world. She is tough, resolute, ruthless, but Rack is still capable of love, great love. The sole recipient of that affection is her son, Kanan. He's everything to her. As much as she cares for him though, there are many instances for where she wonders if she loves him for who he is or if she loves him merely as an extension of herself. The middle child of three, Rack also carries a heavy burden as the owner of her two brothers. She's the sun and everybody else in her universe exists in her orbit. So we really are going to see her being the dominant force out of her brothers and she sees Kanan as an extension for herself. Now we're also going to see a younger version of Kanan and I mean even younger who's played by Joshua Johnson for two episodes. Well that's what's listed on IMDB but we have to take IMDB with a pinch of salt because they're not always 100% right but it could be flashbacks in the early episodes as we start to learn about Kanan's past because we're going to learn a lot about Kanan. We're going to see everything from how he started from a young age, how he grew up, what made him enter the game, his relationship with Jukebox, his uncles Marvin and Lulu and especially his relationship with his mom, which I'm most interested to see because I want to see how much of an influence she was really to Kanan. We look at Monet to harder and you know there's question marks about her dominance as a queen pin but going by what we know about Kanan's mom's character description, hopefully she really is that real deal along with her brothers. But Kanan will definitely, we'll see him getting his first kill, we see him taking this shot in the music video, he's gonna be a handful. He's already growing up in a world where his mom's a drug dealer, his uncles and no doubt bad shit is gonna happen which will pull him into the streets and this is the one that I'm excited for. Power Book 3, you can already tell it's got that gritty, dark and of course the old school vibe and this is going to be one hell of a show. Along with Power Book 4 Force, this one's going to be the one to watch and we could learn more about connection. There's characters like Breeze that hopefully we'll see and learn about and I think they're keeping that under wraps for now but I do think we'll see Breeze and hopefully Power Book 3 Raising Kanan goes right up until the point where Ghost sends him to prison because that would be the full story of Kanan before of course what we saw in Power. And of course if that happens at some point, we would have to meet Tommy and Ghost as well. But Power Book 3 Raising Kane in summer 2021, it's really around the corner, it's gonna come around fast and they'll also start to release images, other news in drips and drabs, so whatever information they kind of put out, I'll of course break everything down for you guys, what you need to know, so if you haven't done so already, remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Universe related. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.